we are doing a winter hike. Um, so it's me and Jason, and uh, we came back to the Dolly Sods. Yep, 20, 24 degrees today. Well, that's now. <laughs> yeah, so it's noon, Dolly Sods, it's December 9th. Yep. Um, Storm Benji's nearby. Benji. Yeah, it could snow a great deal tonight. Well, we don't know. Like they're calling for maybe two inches or whatever. I don't know. We have no idea. No idea. But um, it is gonna it is gonna be cold. Uh, wind chill maybe down to minus two. It's gonna be fun. All right. So let's uh, here. You want to kind of do that, and then oh, let's we'll show you where we're where we're gonna go. I don't know where we're going, but we're at Bear Rocks Trailhead. You don't know where we're going? No. Nope. Oh, okay. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go up this this trail here and then we're going to get connected up to this top loop there's a cliff edge around, right around here we're going to try to check that out so we start here hike in up around um, here we should be able to find some camping right in this area and then set up camp and get a fire going and then tomorrow uh if if everything's f you know fine we're going to come down here and then hike back out on this trail uh 526 back up and connect to 522 and then back over to the car so whoever finds this camera on our dead bodies <laughs> that was the plan yeah uh, i don't i you know we should we, we should be, be all right we'll yeah fine. yeah we got tons of stuff well i got tons of stuff yeah we have a lot of stuff yeah a lot of stuff so um we're both kind of just sitting in the car right now figuring that we have to get out and get our gear together and get into the cold uh, we have six plus miles today just to get out to the to the cliffs and find a campsite. Sounds cool. It does sound cool. All right, so we'll see you on the trail. So we're out here. We just got bundled up and uh, we're hiking down the road a little bit. So we parked a little parking area, hiking down the road, and then we'll get started on the trail. So this is a fun trip for us. First winter hike. We're not gonna crush any miles or anything. We're just gonna hike in six or so miles and then um, make it make camp and probably hike out to the cliffs or something else but we'll see we got steaks for dinner hopefully we can get a fire and grill those up if not we're eating if not we're eating them <laughs> stuff.
encouraging. Well, you can't hunt here. Yeah, but it's not encouraging to see that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing to know you can, one thing to see evidence of it. I love these rocks. Not so sure about the trail though. Yeah. Huh? That's probably it. Okay. We made it to a campsite. It's pretty nice. Jason found this one off of the trail. And uh, so we got a little fire ring. Gonna chop down some old wood, dead wood, not chopped down, fine and process pre fallen lumber. Um, Got my hammock with the Dyneema tarp. I also got a Dutchware sock on here. You could probably see, I don't know, right there, Dutchware sock. I don't have a 20 degree or zero degree underquilt. So what I did was I took my 40 degree underquilt and then I put my uh, 40 degree top quilt on top of that one and then just used some ties that they have like little uh, loops on the edges you just use some ties to tie those together just to give me double layer underneath and then the 20 degree sleeping bag that I do have and then I have a, a fleece liner anyway this is uh, well you've got quite a contraption going on you want to talk about your contraption here yep <laughs> so I have my two season sleeping bag because it is 50 degree right oh look at this oh yeah I got my Look at that. My camp hat. Yeah. My two season. I got so I got my sli my uh, tent here. With a, it's on the tarp, and then I built a little berm of spruce branches. With the tarp overlapping that because the wind's coming from this direction. Yeah. So hopefully. And you're gonna throw this up before you go to bed. Yeah, possibly. I mean, hopefully the wind won't get up under the the rain flat. Yeah. So I'll be somewhat protected. Yeah. And I have the tree over me, which. Hopefully we'll be holding in some of the heat from the fire. Yeah, because the fire is going to be kind of close to his tent. And if uh, his tent catches on fire, then we're hiking out tonight. Yeah, I mean, maybe we could just hike out because the tent might catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but it was pretty cool find because uh, there's there wasn't a whole lot of water um, throughout the first part of the hike. And Jason saw on the map that there was a creek and a campsite down here. So we got a nice water source. So, plenty of water. I'm really thirsty, so I'm going to be definitely hydrating tonight. Anyway, so far it's been a really nice hike. Knock on wood, it hasn't been too terrible. Temps are reading about 27 degrees right now. But uh, it was supposed to dip into the single digits tonight, so we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to try to get some firewood together. We're having fire problems. Jason's been working on it for a while. I was helping, but helping just means I put the fire out. So I stopped helping, but now it's Jason. And I've been using the Whisper, sorry, no, WinPro 2 uh, MSR stove to heat up some water for coffee. All the water in the cans of, or the bottles have frozen. This one's pretty frozen. So some hot coffee to, lift our spirits a little bit. We gotta get that fire started. We have steaks to cook tonight. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, it's 6.15 in the morning, it's two degrees outside. It's snowing, there's a little snow on the ground. We made some coffee for a little bit of energy, but I also think for just moral support or got to get through this morning first light we're going to head out i got probably uh i think both jason and i got like a collective two hours of sleep <clears throat> it was so cold and breezy um like 40 to 60 mile per hour gusts my tarp blew off i didn't even really know it um, because i had the sock on flipped around so i didn't actually see it 
Good thing I brought the sock though because that that um, helps shield some of the wind. Um, I tightened up the under quilts so they helped a little bit. Uh, ended up using one of the fleece liners uh, and the my Z seat uh, just under my backside so that I could keep that warm. It kept getting cold anyway. So I think we're going to enjoy this coffee and hit the road. We packed up and we left already. I don't know what temperature is, but it's still cold. Um, we're going to, I don't know, that way. Grade trail? Yeah, Jason knows. I'm just following him. Uh, all right, about how far do you think it is to get back to the car? I'm just curious. Like another four miles? Four miles, all right. Well, the sun's starting to come up, so that'd be good. Okay. Oh, this is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Five two one. Five twenty six. No, we're on five. No, I'm talking about yesterday. Did you oh. start at five two two or five two one? I don't remember. It'd be nice to get some trees. Shoots up in the back, so we just want to keep going and then it'll curl up into 522. Two. Okay. That's what we want.
Yeah. So we took a fire road up. What the hell was it called? Or Beaver no. Dam Trail? Yeah, Beaver Dam Trail. It's a fire road 75 because it was just. The wind is fierce. I'm sweating under all these layers. That's not a good sign. And I was just dying. Really, no water froze. And then, um. We did have some stickers, so I got a little little energy. And Jason saved my life. You see, he's got my pack for like the last half mile or so up the, up the climb. It was just me. I'll bleep that out. Anyway, we're gonna take the fire road to the car and uh, get a beer. Get a beer. Or maybe some coffee and then a beer. Piece of pie. Piece of pie. Oh yeah, like apple pie and coffee. That'd be great. All right, we'll see you guys at the car. Signing off. Lessons learned this trip. Get a weather appropriate sleeping bag because sleeping in three layers is the most uncomfortable thing on earth. Two, waterproof shoes. Nice. Three, goat or mule <laughs> to hike in firewood and use as possible food source in event of emergency. <laughs> Jason's car is still here, so. Well, I did learn a very, very valuable lesson. That lesson is, I'm a three season maker. Yeah. Ugh. Foot feels dry.